So I was asked on how I bypass the heater core, because as you know on the right hand drive there is actually, actually no heater core, no HVAC system whatsoever in this. So to make, you know, so to run it without a huge coolant leak, you gotta bypass the heater core. And it's essentially really simple. You just loop the heater lines from where they come out on the intake manifold. Now you can do it the way I did it, or you can do it kind of the more, uh, I don't know, I'd say maybe the proper way uh, just in case you wanted to reinstall the heater core in the future. But really all you have to do is if you look down here at where my hand is, so there's the there's one of the heater core lines and then the other one is right there. I know it's really dark but uh, kind of right there. I don't know how well you can see that but there are there are uh, two, two parts, uh, an inlet and an outlet and they usually have hoses coming off of them that go to the firewall. Now what you can do is you just connect the inlet and outlet together with like a 90 degree, I think it's a 5 8 heater core, I know, I'd say 90 degree elbow, clamp it off and it'll just circulate coolant through that elbow as if that was the heater core and that's how you loop your lines to bypass it. Now that's kind of the, the way you should probably do it if you have a fairly stock setup and you want to put the heater core back in in the future but on mine it doesn't really matter so I just took one of the lines took one of the lines and just looped that hose back into the other one now it does have a kink on it and that is no problem at all because when your heater core is closed it's not allowing any flow now this heater core loop I believe is um, in parallel to the cooling system of the car so if you kink off that line or stop flow or whatever it doesn't really affect anything else um, as far as the engine and the radiator go. Hope this uh, answered your question and uh, if you have any more leave it in the comments and I'll see what I can do.